Hi, my name's Adrian from Nava. If you've ever considered buying a set of driving lights, you've probably asked the questions, what's the difference between halogen and HID? Why is HID so much better than halogen? And why is HID so much more expensive than halogen? They're great questions, and today we're going to do a crash course on the technologies involved in both. Let's go to our lab and we'll have a look at them. So here we are in our lab, and I've got two globes with me, a halogen and a HID globe. They both do the same sort of thing, they both produce light, but the way they do it is pretty different. The halogen globe consists of a glass envelope and it has a metal filament inside. So when you flick your lights on, the wire element heats up and reacts with the gas and produces the light. Now halogen globes are available in different wattages. The higher the wattage, the more light is produced. The way halogen globes are made is pretty economical, so they're reasonably priced and that makes halogen driving lights affordable for most four drive owners. The downside with halogen is that the wire filament is pretty fragile and that means when you go over lots of corrugations and vibrations, it's prone to breaking and that can shorten the life of the halogen globe. The other thing is that they draw a lot of power, so whether it's 100 watt or 130 watt for a high wattage globe, you leave them on while you're stopped. It's going to draw a lot of power from your battery and you can run the risk of flattening your battery. Now let's have a look at our HID globe. The principle is the same in that it has a gas inside the glass tube, but the way it ignites is different from halogen. There's two electrodes, and when it, the globe's ignited, an arc forms between those electrodes, a little bit like a welding arc. Now that arc reacts with a gas, which is a xenon gas, and that produces an extremely brilliant white light, much greater than a halogen globe. The use of this technology means there's no filament to break either. That makes them impervious to vibration and ideal for the most demanding four drive applications. This globe is a 35 watt globe and compared to a 100 watt halogen globe uses a lot less power but still produces three times the amount of light and it has up to five times the life. That's almost 3,000 hours of life. The light produced by HID is also a better quality light than halogen. Now better quality light means a whiter light, a light closer to that of daylight. Now the whiter the light is, the more comfortable on the eye and the less eye fatigue you get over long distances. That's important for safety and it means you can see better and you can react earlier to hazards on the road. HID is more complicated than halogen. It uses three components to produce the power. The first is a ballast. Now the ballast takes power from the battery and it produces a high current and sends it to the igniter. The igniter ignites the globe and that reacts with the gas produced in the light. Now one thing to look for when you're buying a set of HID driving lights is the ballast. The ballast can either be internally mounted or externally mounted. The lamp we've got here is internally mounted. The benefit of that is it's close to the globe and igniter. It's also protected within the housing and it's ready to go. So once you take it out of the package, you bolt it onto the car and it's right to go. Now that all said and done, the proof is in the pudding. So let's turn this light rig on and we'll have a look at the lights in action. So whether you choose halogen or HID driving lights for your vehicle, both will be a vast improvement on your standard headlights. To sum up, halogen is an affordable option for driving lights, but HID is a more sophisticated technology and produces far better and whiter light. Hopefully that's given you a good understanding of the differences and why HID is more expensive and why it's also better. But ultimately it comes down to your budget and what sort of driving you're going to do. All the best on the road and here at Nava, it's bye for now.